Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I transform this slide into these and I will show you my whole process from adding fonts, finding images, absolutely everything. So let's get started. So this is a very popular slide, right? So you get some title, you get an image, you get some bullet points, but how do you make this interesting? In PowerPoint, you have the option of a designer, which they basically give you some layout options like already like predefined, but they are not any better. Like they are very boring. So what I usually do is I start with a blank slide here you can change the layout so I just pick a blank slide and usually what I do is I insert a square because I like to define some guides before starting anything to ensure consistency so right click add horizontal guide and then right click add vertical guide as well and I just place them um, at the borders of the squares and you can duplicate them with holding control on your keyboard and then you just get rid of the squares and that's it and now this space in the middle is the one uh, that you're going to use for your content so let's start finding a font i usually go to thefont.com this video is not sponsored by them uh, I just really like this website. They have a bunch of free fonts. And let's say that you want to preview um, how your text is going to look. So you just click on any font. And if you write your text here, it will give you a preview of how that word is going to look with that font without having to download it. So for my titles, I like to go with a bold font. And I think this one right here will work great because it's easy to read and it's just bold, simple. It's really nice. So once you download it, you just click on it and then unzip it and then click on install. And just like that, your font is installed in your system. So now you can use it. So now if you click on insert text and you just pick up the font that you just downloaded here, I'm going to highlight the word Canada because I think that's the most important part of the slide. And we need to start defining a hierarchy for the text. So for example, the words facts about is not any, as important as the word Canada. So I'm just going to make that smaller and then right click format shape. And I like to get rid of the margins of the text box. So everything goes all the way to my uh, predefined guidelines. And then I'm going to look for an image that's more interesting than just putting the flag of the country, for example. So this is another website that I really like. It's called unsplash.com. And they basically have a ton of free stock images uploaded um, from just users all over the world and it's awesome because you can uh, use them for commercial and personal purposes as well so I really like this image because it's got some space at the top where I'll be able to put the text and it will have a nice contrast with the background so I'm just gonna copy and paste the image go to picture format click on crop and then drag the handles all the way to the edges of the slide and then click on the drop down menu and click on fill and just like that your image is taking the whole space so then right click send to back and i think that i'm gonna place the text here in the middle and i'm gonna justify the text as well and align everything to the middle from the shape format panel now i'm thinking that the word canada can come up from the back of the mountains so i'm gonna make that one larger so i had previously grouped it um, to align everything to the middle but i'm gonna ungroup it now and i'm just gonna make the word canada larger i think it's already looking so much better than <laughs> what we had on the previous slide so now i'm gonna copy the image and paste it with ctrl c ctrl v and then I'm going to click on picture format and then I'm going to click on remove background 
and whatever is marked up as pink is gonna get removed so I just click on mark areas to keep and I will start drawing it doesn't have to be perfect but just like as long as you cover the areas that you want to keep which in my case is the mountain um, that that should be should be enough so you just continue drawing on it like you can just like scribble on it and that will be more than enough to to for the program to detect that you want to keep those areas and just click on keep changes and that's it so then I'm gonna select the text go to text options and from the text field panel here you can add a gradient for example to make it look a little bit more interesting if you move these handles closer the gradient will be different and if you click on the eyedropper tool you can get colors from the image so for example I don't know like the, you could use the blue from the mountains uh, for example or just instead of having a gradient having it as a solid feel um, I think that it needs a little bit more contrast so I'm just gonna select solid feel I'm gonna pick the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna pick the color from the trees now I'm gonna insert a rectangle and it's gonna be a white rectangle here um, so this is where our points will be instead of having just like regular bullet points I'll just make this a little bit bigger get rid of the outline and change the color to white and I'll add some transparency here so we can see the image on the background and now I'm gonna go back to my first slide to see how many points do I have so okay so it's five points and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a table with five columns and we're gonna use each column for a different point so I'm just gonna make this larger And then you're gonna click on table design and get rid of the header row and the banded rows and I'm gonna select no fill and no borders so now we have an invisible table and basically you're gonna start writing your your text so for example we're gonna pick the first point here and I'm just gonna put it on the first column again second one put it on the second um, column here and so on and so forth until you are done with the bullet points and this is just a very easy way to transform bullet points into something more interesting because I think that the overuse of bullet points uh, just makes it look like you didn't care about the design of your presentation so then I'm gonna go to the text box options and I'm gonna increase the one for the top margin because I want to get some space to add some icons so then I change the font to something that is easier to read and obviously the size of the text is gonna vary depending on where you are presenting if it's gonna be a massive screen or not but my suggestion is always going around like 14 to maybe 16 um, for body text because otherwise it's just too big so then I'm gonna go to table design and I'm gonna add some borders now the style of the borders is gonna be applied depending on what you have here on this panel so if you change the color here and if you change the width of the stroke here that's the border that's gonna get applied when you click on uh, whatever border you want here so I just added the inside vertical borders to have some dividers between each text and I'll get rid of the very first one the left border and now we have our text and the dividers I think I need to add a little bit more space at the top for the icon so I'm just going to increase the top margin 
and now let's click on insert icons and I'm gonna start reading through each point to add uh, an icon that, that relates to that content so because obviously like the most generic icon for Canada might be the maple leaf so I'm just gonna use that here in the meantime and because the second one talks about the languages maybe I'll just look for a message icon um, something that relates to talking or a speech or a message um, and from this panel here you can change the color and because we had already used this teal color it's already um, there in recent colors so that's the way that I'm applying it to this icon and now the third one is about the wildlife in Canada and he talks about uh, bird watching so this one's very straightforward and I'm gonna insert just an icon of a bird and I'll use the most generic bird that I can find I'm sorry Canadians if there is an, a specific bird but I haven't been to Canada you can invite me sometime um, and I will apply the exact same color then the fourth one is about hockey so that's another very straightforward one and the fifth one is about the government so that one is very difficult and I'm gonna go for the most generic icon I can find which is the maple leaf here so um, I think the other one is easier to um, represent so I'm gonna use the leaf here and because the first one talks about how large the country is I'm gonna replace it for uh, globe or for like a map and to make sure that everything is aligned just select everything go to graphics format and click on align and align to middle now for this video i literally didn't cut much of the actual process because i want to showcase as well that it's very quick to to do like you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours this is literally a 15 to 20 minute slide and it looks absolutely amazing once it's done and once we add the animation and everything I mean the layout in general the design is already looking so much better so my suggestion is that you add icons that you look for high quality images that you look for easy to read fonts and of course you don't have to do this for every single slide in your presentation but if you do that for one or two and then follow kind of the same uh, colors or the same fonts to the rest of your slides that will be enough for you to have a consistent presentation so now let's click on the shape again and let's click on gradient field and I'm gonna change this color to white and for the other one um, I'm gonna keep it as it is but I'm gonna add some transparency so we can see the background image and now I'm gonna bold some of the words because I want people to identify quite quickly what that point is talking about and in the meantime let me know if you are enjoying this video because it's a little bit different than what I've been doing but I think it's super super helpful and don't forget to subscribe also to get more PowerPoint tutorials every single week and then I'm gonna select all of the texts and I'm gonna change the color to 
that same uh, brownish, greenish, um, grayish color. And now I'm going to duplicate the slide to create the transition. And I'm going to bring the facts about work to the gray area of the slide. I'm going to select the word Canada and I'm going to put it behind the mountains. Then I'm going to select our bullet points here and I'm going to take them out of the composition. Move that slide before the other one, select both of them, click on transitions and then on morph. And that's it guys, that's how we transform this slide into this one using PowerPoint. Let me know if you like this video because it's a little bit different than what I've been doing so far. And don't forget that I have some free slides available on lurutiappt.com. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and also to follow me on Instagram at lurutiappt, on TikTok at lurutia.ppt. And I will see you on my next video.